government payments. He's very patient. Yeah, thank you very much, <laughs> Prime Minister, as ever. Um, just to, to seek some clarification on Pablo's question. Yeah. When it comes to those government payments, you say that this is the rule from here on. Is that from week one, or do you have to get to the fifth week? And secondly, Dominic Perrottet, and pardon my French, says he's been a right pain in the ass. <laughs> is he right to claim responsibility for the announcements today? It's a partnership. Who cares who takes responsibility for the credit for this? Ronald Reagan had a, had a great saying. You know, if you care about... You get a lot more done if you don't care who takes the credit. So whoever wants to take the credit for this payment, knock yourself out. OK? I'm just happy we're getting payments to people. That's what I'm, that's what I'm focused on. Who cares who gets the credit? I don't. I really don't. On the other serious point, though, that you raise, um, it is from week, eligibility is from day one. So, for example, in the South Australia experience that we've just gone through, eligibility was from day one, but they made the claim at the conclusion of that week. So they get paid in arrears for that yeah, week. Okay. Well, and the payment you, level yeah. will be at that level, eligibility from week one. So the extra payment that goes to youth allowance, to people on job seeker, it now starts from week one as Correct. opposed to week five. Correct. And the reason for that, the reason for that, and we changed eligibility to week one um, when Victorian lockdown occurred, and that was followed quickly by the South Australian situation, because it was very clear that this is now the pattern. Now, we will, I, I hope not, but it is clear that the, 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 the best response in these circumstances with the Delta variant is that approach. I think that's fairly obvious. That's not a criticism. I make no criticism of decisions that others have made. I, I seriously don't. Everybody makes decisions on the best information they have and in good faith with the best intentions for their citizens. But I think there's a, a clear learning here and that is the approach that I would expect states would follow in the future. Prime Minister, yeah. Prime Minister um, the, the JobKeeper and 2020 job seeker were plagued with complaints from businesses that it was a disincentive to work. Is part of the reasoning of this new system is that there's less of that disincentive to work because you can essentially turn it off and on when lockdowns are turned well, off. Well, it's a very on. good point, and it's targeted. That's the other point. I mean, one of the problems we had with JobKeeper after some time is that Australia opened up again, and we had people who were getting income support payments um, who then were taken out of the labour market. Now, in other parts of the country, the labour market is, you know, employment market is functioning. And uh, people, um, if they're unable to get hours there, have got the opportunity to seek hours in another place. So what we're doing here, because it's so targeted to the area that's affected, we're not interfering with what's happening elsewhere. Um, remember, it wasn't that long ago when holding a press conference on employment issues in Australia, we were talking about massive labour needs and the labour pressures and, and workforce shortages in so many areas. Now, of course, when you put restrictions in like we have in New South Wales and in Sydney, there isn't another place that someone can go and get that hours. In fact, we don't want them to go and get those hours. We want them to stay at home. We want the lockdown to work. And the sooner the lockdown works, the sooner we get out of lockdown. So just, on the, just, on the, just on the roadmap um, and having hope for how we get out of this, mm. when you mentioned you have the Doherty Institute modelling, um, when will we actually see some specifics around that four-phase plan mm. uh, and how we progress through it? Are yep. we talking weeks, days? Well, I hope it's weeks. I hope it's sooner than that. But that all depends on the process we're working through um, with the premiers and the chief ministers.